This is a gravity-powered version of my Billy Bob automaton. I'd always wanted to play around with gravity to power an automaton, and Billy Bob seemed like a good prospect. As you can see in this clip of the hand crank model, he's controlled by just two cams, one for his head and one for his arm. Both require very little effort to operate, so there wouldn't be much friction for a gravity-powered mechanism to overcome. Billy Bob is driven by this weight hanging from a chain. The blue and yellow disc contains the sprocket that is powered by the chain. Much of the mechanism is hidden, so here's a diagram of how it works. The sprocket wheel, which is kind of grayed out in this picture, drives a pinwheel gear behind it. This, in turn, drives a second gear at a 1 to 5 ratio. That is, when the first gear rotates one time, the second gear will have rotated five times. The second gear is mounted on a shaft that replaces the crankshaft. You can see that the two cams are mounted on the same shaft. That's all well and good, but I needed some way of limiting the speed. So the second gear turns a third gear, again at 1 to 5, which turns a fourth gear at the same ratio. So from the first gear to the fourth gear, the overall ratio is 1 to 125. When the first gear turns once, the fourth gear turns 125 times. Attached to the fourth gear is a shaft on which is mounted a flat piece of brass. This is the speed controller, known as a fly fan. The resistance of the air against the fan as it spins controls the speed of the whole mechanism. To operate the automaton, this red button is pressed, raising the lever from the notch in the wheel. Gravity does the rest. When the button is released, the lever rides on top of the wheel until the notch comes round again, at which point it stops, having gone through one cycle. Let's watch it in action. The button is pressed, the wheels go around, and the fan spins. When the notch comes around again, it stops. When the chain is run almost all the way out, you just grab the end and pull it back up. A ratchet and pull device makes this easy. There are two keyhole shaped holes in the back of the box. I put two screws into the end of a bookcase to match the holes and the box just slides over them and locks into place.